now we're going to do a reflection of this shape across the line y equals x. Do you remember the line y equals x? is a 45 degree line to the right. It's got a positive one slope and it goes through the origin. So we're going to reflect this across the line y equals x. <clears throat> we do the same thing that we did for a translation. You have to create a matrix based on the x and y values. I'm going to go ahead and write that down in green. The top line, the top row, will be your x values. So let's go ahead and put those in. And then the bottom line will be the corresponding y values. Now, in a rotation or a reflection, we multiply by a given matrix 2 by 2. In this case, we're going to reflect across the line y equals x. So we're going to use the matrix 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. That's given in blue. And we take that from pages 90 and 91 in your book. So when we multiply these together, we will get a third matrix. And that matrix will give us the values that we need to do our reflection. So now we will multiply rows by columns. Even though this is a multiplication, if you'll notice one value in the matrix in the row is 0, the other one is a positive 1. So in effect, what we're doing is flipping the x and y values. The y values are now x, and the x values are now y. If you multiply these out, you'll still get the same uh, answer that you see in the matrix at the bottom. So here are the new coordinates, 7, 1, negative 1, negative 6. 4, negative 7, and 7, negative 4. And now plot these points, and we should have our reflection over the line y equals x. Once you have your points graphed, now draw a line between the points. And there is our reflection. Remember this one is over the line y equal x. If you're doing any other reflection or rotation, make sure to get your matrix uh, for that rotation or reflection from pages 90 to 91 in your book.